gonna smoke me a fat and brisket I got my barbecue shoes on Gonna smoke me a fat and brisket I got my barbecue shoes on I got my natural case I got the hogs on the BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some bacon, potato sticks, and wheels at the pit. And it's real easy to do, of course. All right. Here I've got a apple core. You've seen this before. And it looks like we're doing our potato bombs. And if you've never done potato bombs, you definitely got to check them out. Same procedure, but we're going to uh, cook them up a little bit different. Now, I've taken this apple core. And I've taken a potato, it's a russet type potato, they're elongated, they work perfect for these uh, bacon potato sticks and wheels. And you just core out the potato. It's real easy to do, right? All right, just like that. Now sometimes they, uh, they'll break off a little bit, but that's fine, because we're talking about hors d'oeuvres here. Just in time for the holidays, or your uh, Sunday meal, whatever. You just take your uh, apple core like that, ream it through the center of the potato, and you end up with a stick. Simple enough. Let me show another one. Nah, we don't need to show you. You know how to do it. All right, we've cored out all these potatoes. We got a bunch. A bunch of potato gums ready to go. But uh, let me put these aside for a minute. And here we've got some belly bacon. All right. You know all about the bacon. And we're going to just cut these strips in half. You could leave them whole. Depends how much bacon you, uh, you're going to want on these sticks and wheels. So you take a slice. Take a stick and just wrap it around just like that oh man I think you uh, you got an idea where we're gonna go with this again take a strip of bacon and these are regular uh, cut bacon wrap it around just like that <clears throat> man now if you've never had one of these uh, bacon potato sticks you definitely got to check it out. You better make a bunch. You bring them to a holiday table, and they will be the first to go. No, oh, mama. No, she's not going to like that because nobody's going to eat her casseroles, right? <laughs> all right. You get the picture. Now, we've got all those cord potatoes left here. And instead of making potato bombs out of them, we're going to make some wheels. We call them wheels. You can call them what you want. And uh, you take a slice about the same thickness as your potato bacon sticks there. All right, and this allows both the sticks and these wheels to cook approximately the same time. Again, oh man. Now these work good in the fryer too. You just do it the way you want, but uh, you definitely got to check out this recipe. They're good. Just slice them. Oh, man. Now, again, we'll take a uh, slice of bacon and just wrap it. Now, you may need a whole slice of bacon, not a half. Depends how big your uh, potatoes are. Either or, it works good. Again, let me show you. Take the bacon and wrap it. And of course, you don't need toothpicks. You do it the way we do it, and it'll be good. All right, the sticks and the wheels have been wrapped with bacon, and now we're going to place them on the grill opposite the hot coals. This is indirect cooking, zone cooking. You know all about that. You've been watching us over the years. And you do it because you don't want the bacon to cook too quickly, otherwise it'll pull away from the potatoes. 
get him in there. Man. Are you getting hungry or what? <laughs> and if you're not, you're on the wrong channel. Man. Oh. Not much more to say about it. Pile them in there. All right. We'll put the cover on. This will take about 30 to 40 minutes. You cook them to when the bacon is done. Just time to kick back and relax. Grab a cold one. Or hang with the chicken. <laughs> the chicken's happy we're not cooking up chicken tonight. All right. We're just about done. The bacon is done. The potatoes are done, but we're going to hit them with some sauce. Use your favorite sauce. You can go heat or sweet the way you like. It gives them some color. Oh, man. Can you smell that? It smells good. <laughs> Martha, we're going to be eating good tonight. Just slather it on. Put the cover on, maybe another 10 minutes or so. Get them just the way you like them. And through the miracle of time, these bacon, potatoes, sticks, and wheels are done. Take a look at that. Oh, man. Vegematics. Oh, we must just try one of these, maybe, huh? Oh, yeah. You know those Vegematics. They cheat. I'd say it's time to eat. We'll plate them up. serving with what condiments you like. Dipping sauce. We got some sour cream there. Just take a look at that. You better make a bunch of them. I'm telling you. They'll go fast. And of course, as always, we do apologize for eating in front of you like that, but uh, you call this Pitmaster Privilege. <laughs> oh, eat your heart out, Vegematics. show you what one of these look like inside. Oh, Are you kidding me? time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue check out barbecuepitboys.com